Hey y'all, we did a video not too long ago on moving day and what my checklist was. On this edition of Kicking It Van Vo Style, I'm going to show you some gadgets that you can purchase that I use to get ready to move. That's up next. Keep watching. Hey y'all, if this is your first time watching us on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Click that like button, ring the bell, that way you know about the next video that we have coming up, and guys, give us a like. YouTube loves likes and comments. For every like you do, you pay it forward, and YouTube shares it. As far as the comments go, we read every single one of them, and I respond to every comment. Leave us a comment. And that's our cheap shameless plug for this one. So it's moving day, and I've got a lot to do. Uh, we are actually leaving our home base here in Weatherford and we're actually going to spend a few days at Jellystone uh, Water Park in Burleson, but to get ready for that, I've got a lot to do. This will be our first trip of the summer. We've just got so much area to clean up and get ready to go. I've got to decide what's going with us and then what's going to stay here at home base. Uh, in that we have been to Jellystone before, I kind of know what we need and what we don't need and what I can leave and what I don't need to uh, take. One of the things is our solo stove. Guys, it's supposed to be upper 90s, uh, close to 100. Don't think I'm going to be using our solo stove for this one. Uh, our, our mat that we have out, uh, don't need it. We're actually staying on a concrete pad. Everything's kind of laid out. Uh, if you didn't see our video on Jellystone before, take a look at it and we do an overview of the park and you'll see where we're at and the layout of the, uh, of the spots there for the RVs. One of the things that I am going to take this time is our smoker. Now they come with the grill at the site, but I like to take our smoker and it's compact. It fits right underneath my bay. It's easy to take. Another thing that we are definitely going to want to take are our chairs. Uh, that's just for having the awning out, especially at night, and being able to sit out and kind of just relax, have a, an adult beverage, and uh, enjoy what we did for that day. Another thing that I'm going to take, because the temperatures are so hot, and it kind of gives us an extra breeze blowing through, is our fan. It's great to have on those nights, especially with the, with the temperatures as high as what they are in the summertime. Uh, having a fan outside gives it uh, an extra breeze. Plus, I don't know what it's been like this summer for you, but here in Texas, the flies have been horrible. Having that fan out keeps those flies away. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm getting ready to move especially since we've been here at home base for quite some time, I like to make sure that everything is clean. And one of those things that, uh, that, I, that I like doing is making sure we're caught up on our wash. One thing that we purchased uh, that actually helps out, especially um, here at home base, we've got free washing and drying, but there's times I just I, I got things going on and I'd rather wash my clothes here. Now, our unit came with a, with a washer and dryer. This was a 1999 uh, National RV Trade Winds 7370 model, and that washer and dryer took a, took a, a dump on me. To replace that, it was gonna be over $1,000. At the time, I'm like, eh, I'm really not gonna do that much washing. Um, if we do, we're at an RV park, or if we're boondocking, I can wait and, and wash later. Well, it became an issue. But I did find something that was interesting, and you may want to use this also. Again, another gadget that we use. Because this is the area that our washer and dryer was in when we bought the RV. And if I open the door, There is our new washer and slash kind of dryer. This thing actually comes out and I put it in my shower and I'm able to wash clothes. Now, 
if you're looking to wash big comforters, it's not going to do that for you. You're going to have to take that to either uh, a washateria or if you're at an RV park, you'll have to uh, to do it there. But for smaller loads, t-shirts, sheets, um, a few blankets, it will actually do that for you. And as far as the drying part, it's a spin dryer, but it, I would say, gets your clothes about 80% dry. It's kind of a neat gadget to have. We use it. This is the washing part, and you can see it's pretty deep. And then this is the spin drying part. You get all that done, and then you put it in here and hit spin dry. And uh, that's a pretty good job. Like I said, it's about 80% getting your clothes uh, getting your clothes dry. You know, I'm filling this up. It's got a place for an inlet. Uh, the hose was kind of not very good. I just used my shower head since it's right here in the shower and fill that bad boy up. You know, on this first load, I've got uh, my bottom sheet and about six pillowcases in there. Got it filled up and it's ready to start washing. On your washing, you've got a normal setting and then you have a soft setting. And I'll usually, if I've got blankets in there or something delicate, I'll put it on the soft setting. But to kind of show you how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and set it. We're gonna set it to about 15 minutes and let it wash. I'm gonna open this up, it does splash, so let you see what it's doing there. And that's our washer. And guys, I want to be honest with you, it does a great job. Especially being in uh, so compact, putting it in the shower, the drain, when it drains, it goes right down into the uh, into the bath cover shower. Pretty simple. I'll show you about the drying here in just a second. You know, something else that we like that's a gadget, but um, it's not necessarily has to be used before moving day, but we use it all the time and I make sure that I've used it before moving date because, you know, if you're driving on those long trips, um, I don't like to stop. And if we do stop, it's going to be for just a minute. And I've got drinks on board and I also have ice. We have an ice maker. This thing's pretty cool. It, uh, you open it up and you pour your water in and it has a pretty big tank here. You shut that, you turn this on, and it makes ice. And kind of show you what that looks like. This is what I keep pretty much filled up, and it makes little bullet ice. You know, another gadget that we use is our weather station. Hit that, and it'll uh, tells me what my temperature is outside, and it also tells me what the forecast is. Um, as far as my watches and my warnings, I have another gadget that we use, and that's our Echo Show. And I can get my weather forecast anywhere I'm at. Alexa, what's the weather today? Right now in Weatherford, it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same, with a high of 93 degrees. By the way, I can notify you about severe weather alerts for your area. Would you like me to do that? Yes. Okay, I'll notify you when there is a weather alert for Springtown. To turn this off, ask me to cancel. It's pretty cool and I actually disabled that feature to show you how easy it was to enable it. And uh, that's Alexa and she will warn us and she does a pretty good job of any severe uh, weather that's coming our way. Especially here in Texas, moving out of springtime and into summer, uh, we sit right in the middle of Tornado Alley it's always good to get some type of an early warning system. Since taking the uh, the carpet up out of the RV and replacing it with flooring, something that we uh, that we use that's great on flooring, either here in the RV or if you're at your sticks and bricks, it's great. And that's the Swiffer Wet Jet or Wet Mop. 
something. I forget what it's called, but I'll find out and we'll leave it down in the description. This thing is really cool and it gets our floors after I sweep uh, kind of an extra clean on our on our hardwood flooring. Another gadget. You know, I'm gonna leave our, uh, our checklist down in the description, uh, everything that we do right before moving day. But one of the things that I do is I get up on my roof. I don't have a ladder on my motorhome. So, I have a gadget. Guys, this is our, uh, our gadget to get up on the roof. Now, you can tell right now, it's not doing much for us because there's the roof. But you know, all I need to do is pretty much just snap my fingers and this thing actually works and extends. What a great gadget to get up on our roof and I check my roof. Make sure that I, uh, I don't have any uh, punctures or any leaves or any debris that's up there. Kind of sweep that off. I also check my seals, make sure that they're all good. If we need to put some caulking around it or some Eternabon, uh, then we'll go ahead and do that. I do that every time that we are leaving any, t any destination. And I usually do it 48 hours before we leave. But our ladder, our gadget gets me up there and this thing is pretty cool you push a button and it comes straight down it's easy to put up easy to take down you saw how small and compact it is it's easy to carry with me another gadget that we use so we got our sheets washed and i've actually went ahead and started filling up the tub again because i've got fabric softener in there and then here's our sheets over and pillowcases over in the drying side I'll show you how that works Go ahead and close that lid, set it, and there she goes. And I don't know if you can see the water coming out, but she's uh, she's a drying. She's also I've also done some rinsing, and along with that rinsing, uh, that's that water's coming out also. The next step will be to take it and put it in the big tub again. For the fabric softening and then I'll dry them but that's our gadget on our washer and dryer I like it you know for the specs on the washer and dryer I'll leave that down in the description also all these products that I'm showing you uh, you can find them on our website at www.kickinitvanvost.com and go to our store if you don't see it listed in our store Punch on one of those uh, Amazon banners and that'll take it, uh, take you to it and just uh, put the description in there that you get from the description on the bottom of this page. Thanks. And we do get a little bit of a kickback from that. Every little bit helps, trust me. Guys, another gadget that we use and we want to make sure that we do this and I do it before ever driving out is making sure my air pressure is where it needs to be. There's nothing worse than knock on wood. I haven't had that issue yet, but it's, it's not if, it's when. You don't want to blow out. Uh, I use two things. I check my air pressure before I ever hit the road, and I use the TMS monitoring system, and I'll show you that. Two gadgets that I use before leaving. One, peace of mind, two, just pure down safety. So this is our TMS monitoring system and guys I tell you this is a lifesaver. Uh, whether you're uh, traveling in a motorhome, whether you're pulling a fifth wheel, uh, you're pulling an extra vehicle, uh, you've got a travel trailer, this little device will monitor your tire pressure of whatever it is. Now, right now we, uh, we're not pulling anything um, at this point in time but uh, I have four of these I'm sorry six of these on my motorhome so this tells me what my pressure is and temperature at all times uh, it'll warn me if I'm uh, low if it'll warn me if I'm high if I'm hot uh, it, it it's a great device and you'll want to invest in this again another gadget that we use 
uh, full time, not just on moving day. But I double check after I use my uh, a virtual air station, um, then I come back in and I check it with this and it matches up. In fact, I've already checked it. It matches up and uh, then I use this to monitor as I'm, uh, as I'm traveling. You need this. Again, it's not a, uh, it's not a, a want it, it's you need to have it for safety, if nothing else. Guys, the other thing that you've heard me talk about so many times in other videos is our Rhino Blaster. Now, I will dump our tanks 48 hours, I'm sorry, 24 hours before we leave. Uh, and then that way we put our happy camper in there and our, our gray tank and for our black tank. And it gives that water time to kind of swoosh around the tank as we're moving. And then when we get to our destination, I'll dump again. Uh, it helps to clean out. Now, another thing that you can do is uh, before you leave, if you've got ice, uh, dump that in your, in your tank. Uh, that ice, kind of like when you're cleaning your coffee pot or if, if you've ever cleaned your coffee pot, which it's, it burned or something like that, you left it on too long. If you'll take ice and swish it around, it cleans that, that burnt off of the uh, bottom of the pot. Kind of works the same way with your tank. Uh, it's, it's taking all the grime and stuff uh, along with uh, uh, the product that we use, which is Happy Camper, which we just did a video on. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. If you've got stinky problems with your gray or black tank, uh, Happy Campers will take care of that. Um, cheap shameless plug for them. We don't get anything back on that and you can get that from Amazon. But the Rhino Blaster is, uh, is really for our black tank and it really breaks up, it shoots a jet of water up into that black tank and really kind of swishes it around and gets any type of toilet paper or anything else that's clogged up in there that might be covering your sensors. Uh, Rhino Blaster, uh, that's from Camco, I believe. And we'll put the description down at the bottom. Guys, these are all gadgets that we use and this we primarily left it to, if we were moving to our next destination, what do we use? Uh, I have tons of other gadgets that maybe we'll do another video on. Uh, there's so many of them out there, but we wanted to share what some of the things that we like to use. Two of the things you definitely need that's your visual air uh, station and, and your TMS, your, your tire monitoring system, that's for safety purposes. The other things, uh, they're, you can either use them or not use them. Uh, we enjoy them. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Take a look at our next video. It's coming here, 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 here. I don't know which way, but it's coming. Take a look at it. Guys, again, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so. Uh, give us a like, that way YouTube will share this on to the next person, you're paying it forward. Ring the bell, that way you know about the next video that we've got coming up. And don't forget to comment. I love to read the comments and we respond to all of them. Guys, thanks again. We love you. God bless. Remember, life is a journey. It's not a destination. Let us take you on that journey with us.